Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Peglin. We are jumping in again and I'm going to up the Crucible a little bit. I'm not going to up it all the way, but I'm going to go with... No, do you know what? I'm just going to actually try a Crucible 8. It's been a while. I'm sure it'll end up kicking my ass, but it's been a while since I've given Crucible a go. So I think I will give it a go. Um... Having plus one discard actually seems like incredibly good early on. Uh, being able to cycle out the stones and use stuff that matters. So I'm pretty happy with that. Of course, we start with less gold here and stuff. So we're going to have to be a little more on it in terms of that. And we'll, we'll see if we can be. But I've been really enjoying Peglin recently. I, I know there's another, like there's a new update coming out in like a day or so after I record this. Um, so next week's episode, we'll have... A few new things, apparently, so they're adding some classes to the game and stuff, apparently, so... Kind of interesting. I'm really hoping. I was really hoping I'd get that crit there. Unfortunately, didn't quite manage it. Got that bomb, though. Unfortunately, we're not going to get anywhere near the, the 50 uh, gold that I like to try and keep as my minimum standard for the first room, but... When I'm 20, 20 down, it makes a, a bit more sense as to why. Unfortunately, we're taking some good damage here, but it is what it is. And there you go. Got up to 34. It's not bad. Um, let's take the swashbuckle orb early on. Because I think those, that kind of scales well early. Um, and we can start, like, discarding through our stones. Um, I guess. Just let one of those sink. That was slightly confusing. Uh, I don't really care which way I go here. Take me whichever way you want. Shop is potentially useful. Um, if we get enough money for it. Let's um, discard both of those and try and get this crit. Oh, it just narrowly missed it. What a shame. What a shame. Okay, we're really hoping to hit bombs here, but not getting so lucky. Probably going to take a good bit of damage here. Oh, that quite a lot of damage, in fact. Dude. Goddamn hit the goddamn bombs. <laughs> Not enough bombs hit. This is infuriating. Okay, there you go. We hit quite a few of them there. Oh, good. We'll take the Doctor 100%. And I think I'm going to take Mystery here. And just take a few Mysteries in a row to try and get some interesting stuff. And maybe go for that Elite. This isn't really what I wanted here, but there you go. We can't use the Doctor at the moment. Unless, I think we save it if, if, if there's a dire situation here. But otherwise, we don't want to be taking it. Nice refresh there. Crit is viable here as well, which is really awesome. We've, de we've dealt reasonable damage to this guy here, but it's it's not been amazing. I'll go for a refresh there. We'll see how we go here. We'll see how I, I'm. I'm hopefully optimistic right now, but it's maybe a maybe it's an ill feeling to have. Refresh is in a really bad spot. Half decent crit there. Nah, we died to that unfortunately. Let's let's give that another go. An early loss. It, it is what it is. I think that elite I just really wasn't sort of prepared for. Um. Uh, the post battle healing one is kind of interesting. I think I'll take that. It basically just means we have to play with a rather thick deck, though, which is not really how I tend to normally play. So it does change things a little bit. This is a slightly annoying start, but we managed to get one of the bombs off the bat there, which is really nice. Which makes getting these, these bombs just kind of difficult to get, especially if you accidentally hit a refresh in the middle of all of this. But... We're actually kind of sitting pretty right now in terms of... Oh, I was just about to say in terms of refreshes, but... I immediately then go and hit one. And I hit another refresh there. This just kind of is what it is. I'm at the whim of the game right now. I'm trying to hit this bomb here, but... Really hit everything but the bomb. Okay. A lot more damage than I'd like to take on the first round, but... It is what it is. Um, and the shock obs... Yeah, let, let's grab one of those, because that proved to be very valuable the last time we uh, we played. Uh, and I've been told that for higher crucibles, it's kind of 
one of the orbs that you really want to go for. Um, well, let's turn sync again. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Didn't want to go for the combat there, but the game thought otherwise. That was a really good throw there, wow. At the minute, I don't really care about hitting pegs too much. I've got a little bit of a waste before these guys get here. Get that bomb prepped. It's all about getting this money as quickly as possible. Hit another bomb there, nice. And we go for one more bomb there. We've only got to hit 20 here, so... Just go for some money. Hey, there you go. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> Destroys any, hits, attacks all enemies. That could be a potentially useful one early on. I think later on that wouldn't be the greatest. But for right now it could be kind of good. But I could just go with an upgrade on this. Um, although this upgrade doesn't actually do much for us right now. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure what I say. I'm going to keep my money for now. And again, I want to go mystery. I think mystery is, is, a, is a, a good way to success here. Um, okay, nice. I got my, uh, I got another one of these bad boys. That is not bad at all. Unfortunately, we're going to the fight again, which isn't what I wanted to do, but the game has other plans for me once again. Again, this is another one where the bombs are particularly kind of rough to hit. So I'm just going to do my best. The refresh is luckily in a really janky spot, so we're not going to be hitting that anytime soon. There you go, we got one bomb. So this thing's doing 1-1 one, one at the moment. So at the moment, the, the usefulness of the shock absorber, or whatever you want to call it, yeah, it's just very low at the moment. It's, it's just not going to be something that we get a lot of use out of. Later down the line... Oh, dude. These bombs. Man. Absolute pain in the ass. Okay. We could get even another one of these, but... I think I'm more tempted to take one of these, and then we'll go with an upgrade on that as well. Go random again. That was a reasonably good bomb th uh, throw there. Nice. I like that. I like that a lot. If we can get us up, up to 30 here, this would be really nice. Yeah, we can. Nice. Because now we can... Uh, do an orb removal at the shop that's coming up. I think is quite valuable for us. And not too bad damage on that. And then I don't think this works for us right now, does it? Because I'm pretty sure if I use that, it'll only hit the bottom row. These enemies are going to be a little bit, little bit rough to, to for us to do damage to, and I think we're going to lose some good amount of HP here. But it's just going to be have to be how it goes, I guess. Really? He didn't die? God damn it. Okay, finally hit that refresh. Crits have just been, unfortunately, pretty hard to hit for us right now. We missed out on that one there. Okay, I think I'm going to continue here, go for the shop, and I probably should have healed, but I'm taking a, a gamble, and I think removing a stone is the better player right now, if we survive. If we don't survive, it's definitely not the better player, obviously. But I'm gambling. Um, additional refresh is very good. We'll take the question mark followed by that chest if we can. Um, no thank you, that's very unfortunate. We got another elite here. Do we want to go for the elite with the health we have right now? It's very risky. I'm going to just let the board decide for me. Okay, we're doing it. It's very risky, this, but I feel like you kind of have to... Oh, it's a very bad one to get as well. You kind of have to jump the gun with these and hope for the best. The good thing is the uh, piercing with this orb here is very, very nice for us.
Good, good. Managed to hit the refresh there. And yeah, I don't really know the best way to, like, maximize damage here. It, it, it's really just, at the end of the day, trying to get crits, but it's not a particularly easy thing to do with this setup. Dealing, like, 20 damage at a time, it's just... The, the, the layout, the, the actual, like, organization of this level is so horrible for, like, hitting... Re like, reliably hitting a lot of pegs. Like... I'm hitting for like 20 at a time, like I'm definitely dead here, because the game's just, yeah, it just doesn't give you anything to go on, like at all, like I'm just absolutely, completely dead here. Because yeah, I just, that, that boss, the design on that boss really sucks really hard. Uh, we'll go for another one, I'm trying it out, I said I'd give Crucible a go, I'll be honest, I just, I think that the design of Crucible is pretty poor at the moment and it needs to be tweaked. I get that like the whole, it sounds a bit complainy, but, and like, obviously I understand the idea is specifically obviously to add challenge and difficulty to the game, but I feel like the the scale, uh, sort of the, 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 the curve at which it does that is pretty like unbalanced at the moment. I feel like it kind of, Goes like Crucible, one, two, three, four, you're like kind of plodding along. It's it's getting a little bit harder, but then all of a sudden it just gets really, really rough, really fast. Um, and I think that that curve needs to be ironed out a little bit. Um, just to make it a little more fair. Um, and then yeah, like bosses like that, just the design of the actual pegs on the board that you're able to hit is, is kind of, it leads to, um... Leads to a lot of problems. Because you, like, you just can't, there's not enough damage on the board to be had to kill that guy in time. Like, it's, it's just not possible. <laughs> but you have to have a really, really good setup with your orbs to be able to make that, I think. Um, we'll grab the bold orb here. We do have a reduction to self damage as our base item, which is not useful right now, but is potentially notable later. Try my best to get down to these bombs. There you go, I got a few of them. It's not always plausible with this layout, though, to uh, get to the bombs easily. Try my best, though. A few extra coins here and there if we can get them, but I'm not super worried about those. There you go. We'll take a Doctorb as well. We got an elite here, pretty early elite, good amount of HP. It's this guy again. We're probably not going to do amazing against this guy. Okay, good refresh there. We got a crit available here, so we'll go for that. That's the big damage. It's still not enough, though. Is the problem? Like, it's big damage, but it's it's still. Not quite hitting the mark for us. That's another 100. We're still going to get hit by this guy. Are you seriously going to miss that refresh? Wow. But you are going to hit the crit though, so I appreciate that at least. I'm going to go straight for the refresh here. Kind of works out. Probably going to take another hit of damage. Yep. 46. Come on, we can get that in this turn. Yes, we can. Okay. Not too bad. We got hit twice by that guy. That's about average, to be honest. Um, Bob Orb is pretty good, but I'm my deck is kind of bloating a little bit right now, so I don't know if I want to take it. I'm going to have to, though, I think. We'll upgrade that so it can be used once per battle as well. And I'll, I'll take that. It's not particularly good. Unfortunately, no removal here. We don't have the money for it, but oh well. Additional. Let's try and get the additional crit. I think the setup last time was... Uh, here, right? Ah, bugger, no. Okay, I'll take it, though. And then again, I'm gonna try to go for the Elite. But you never know. Okay, we got the Elite, nice. We do have a Doctor Orb now to heal us up, so if things get a little too rough, we have an out. Okay, really, really good first turn there. We've got a few bombs off there as well. I'm hoping I hit this refresh. Nah. Sadly not. 
actually going to waste a turn here to make sure I can hit this refresh next turn because things are getting rough without it. I was kind of hoping to not kill that guy then, but oh well. Upgrade that bad boy again. Each, um, each shot run a portal. I can teleport orbs. Ooh, yeah, I'll take that. Go for a question mark here. Another fight. God damn, our stones are really, really suffocating us right now. We have way too many of them. Wow, that was a, a pretty good portal. The pie portal was good stuff. Alright, we'll see what we can get out of this, but... <clears throat> I was going to say, it might not be a lot. I, I probably should have waited for the refresh to, uh... To get this going. Okay, that's better. No, okay, no, it fell again. That's good. And again, yes. Okay. Not the greatest of healing, but better than nothing. Come on, hit that refresh. The refresh is in such a bad spot. Come on now. Okay. We made it through. Upgrade that bad boy again. Go for this chest, because it's easier for us to get to. Um, I guess I'll go for this, and then we'll go for question mark. Go for the three question marks. Bloody go away with your plus three stones. Who would ever want to take that? Who would ever? We literally can't even use this orb right now, so that's a real bust right there. Big oof. Got a bomb there, good. Just something for us at least. This generates a bomb on its first hit, so that does some good. Okay, awesome. We'll see what we can do with this bad boy, but it won't be a lot, I don't think. Oh wait, we got... It hit the pie thing. The pie thing's very useful for our healing orb, gotta say. We got two times usage on this thing as well, so... Not bad going. Just hit the bomb, please. Just hit the bomb. Thank you. Okay. Well, um, yeah, let's upgrade this again. And then question mark once again. I think that's going pretty well for us right now. Upgrade knob. Thank you very much. And then this doesn't matter which way we go here. And on to the boss. Okay, doing pretty well so far. Doing pretty well so far. I just, at the minute, we're just suffering from a little bit of uh, blur on our current setup in terms of orbs. But otherwise, things are going reasonably well. I think the pie thing's been a really, like, huge addition to the run. Great. Such a good throw there. Up to full health. Good, good. Yeah, these stones are just... We, I, I suppose we should just upgrade them at this point, because they're, they're going to be around for a while, and we just get rid of them if we need to. There you go. All taken care of, though. Nice and easy. And we'll upgrade this to full. And yeah, let's just go straight for the boss. We'll see how this goes, but I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty confident. Pretty confident going into this. I know I'm going to do fuck all damage here, but it's just to reveal the... Uh, the bombs. Try and get extra damage with the bombs. Just good stuff with them bombs as well. Refresh is in a bad spot here. Try and get that bomb. That was just awful. I'm gonna leave that for later. It's gonna be a bit rough. He's got 300 HP, and we've got a little while to go here. Go for the refresh here, that's gonna help. Try and create some bombs here. Created a good few there. Doctorb now, I think, is a good time to shine for that. That's a really good Doctorb right there. Wow. That worked out perfectly. Okay, awesome. And upgrades. Yeah, so at this point, I think I'm just going to start 
upgrading a few stones. And I know this might be a waste of money because I might get rid of them. Um, and I'm going to go with durable here because we've got the ability to create bombs. I think pegs being durable when you can create bombs is pretty fun. We'll go right here because there's double treasure. Fortunately, not great there, but we did create a few bombs. Bouncing around like crazy. We've got, luckily, we have some piercing here as well, so these guys die to that pretty swiftly. And yeah, actually having some extra damage on my stones here. It's not a tactic I often take. I think money is often like best saved for later, but I'm getting kind of frustrated with not being able to get rid of my stones and then be pretty useless. So I'd rather than be usable. Also, yeah, healing with our, persist with our uh, durable orbs is real nice. Um, let's just upgrade you as well. I know that sounds, that seems like a bit of a weird idea. I'm hoping it pays off in the, in the end. Duplicate. I could go with another Doctor, but I think I'm probably just going to go with another Bob Orb. I think that's slightly more valuable for us. We'll go with a blind. Good, good. Another chest straight after. Cheese. And another one of these straight after. I guess we go with Overflow. I quite like Overflow. Yeah, we just hope that we blast out a ton of bombs here. I mean, we, we got quite a few there already. They also add blind as well, which is quite nice. Oh, really? <clears throat> it managed to escape the little confines there. It's annoying. Explode a bunch of these bombs. Come on now. There's so many to go at. We managed to explode one at a goddamn time. How'd you miss that? There's like so many bombs there you could have hit, goddamn. So many bombs you could have hit. The fact that this orb generates the bombs and can detonate bombs is real nice. Yeah. Um. We should upgrade that as well, you know. I know it seems like a waste of money, but I'm hoping it. I'm hoping it all pays off. Chest here. Go with that for the extra healing. Shop isn't very valuable right now because we're too off being able to. Should have noticed that. We're too off. Just go here and straight for the boss. Oh, really? Really annoys me that with pegs being durable, that that can happen where they get like stuck. Don't get stuck, please. Now, the one problem with this strategy is the orbs that become bombs don't refresh into anything. So it can kind of clear out a lot of the board. But at the same time, normally it does enough damage to not matter. So it's not like a big deal. Right, onto the boss. Oh, wait, no, onto the elite, sorry. Then onto the boss. These stone ones just, yeah, just don't really matter right now. We get the damage we can with them, but it's once the bombs start coming out that things really start to pay off for us. There you go. This all is pretty good as well because it just hits a lot of stuff, so it can detonate a lot of bombs and stack up a lot of damage pretty quickly. It'd be nice to have another discard, to be honest. damage on him and oh that was that was a absolute whiff this enough damage to kill him not quite okay it was kind of enough um upgrade on that continue from here corn is really really good right now let's take the corn Really? There you go. Okay. This should not be too bad. Especially when we get the bomb off the bat too. 
You don't get caught anywhere. Good thing is the bomb just propels it around as well. Keeps moving it everywhere so it doesn't just stay in one little hole. I mean, not all the time. Sometimes it will. Like, at this point, it's probably stuck in this hole forever, but... Oh, no. Oh, mm, mm, no. Oh. oh, it's trying to get out, but it couldn't quite. But yeah, good damage on us so far. Probably want to save the bombs to later, though. Refresh is in a real bad spot, unfortunately. Yeah, un unfortunately, we're in a really rough spot with our refresh here, but we're gonna we're gonna kind of lose a lot because of where it is. Because because of the pegs being durable, I have almost no way to guaranteed hit it. So I kind of just have to hope for the best. Oh, that was actually a pretty good hit. Wow. Um. Yeah, we have to hope for the best, really. Again, the refresh is in a terrible spot here. If it's ever near the bottom, it just kind of completely screws everything up. Don't fall straight down that hole. God damn it. God damn it. Game's kind of screwing me right now. You guys, I'm not taking a lot of damage recently. Stop going down that goddamn hole. The bombs keep goddamn yipping up my shots into holes. It's very annoying. Get a good amount of bombs going. Done. Oh, Lord. This is so frustrating. I can't even refresh to, like, sort it out. It's just going to go straight down the hole again, isn't it? This... I might die due to this hole and where that refresh is. I, I genuinely don't think there's anything I can do to prevent that ha from happening at this point. I just... I have to hope that I out-damage this guy, but I just doubt that's going to happen. He's, he's, he's at me in, like, a few turns. Just why refresh? Why are you there? Like, you're literally impossible for me to get to. It's... This is... And this guy insta-kills as well, so... Absolutely nothing I can do to stop this. Well, that was upsetting. Ah, that was a really good run. Ruined by the refresh spawning in the worst possible location. It's why only having one refresh is, like, ridiculously devastating. Like, what crucible is it that does that? Five. I genuinely think it's, like, one of the most evil things you could possibly do. It just makes the game so impossibly difficult. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.